and welcome to lesson 4.4. In this lesson, we're going to teach you not to measure the angle as much as to actually draw it, but you're going to have to use measurement in order to find out how big to make it. So normally with the class, what I would be doing is practicing doing some uh, measuring first. So it have kids, uh, have the students basically draw acute, rib, obtuse, and reflex angles and exchange them and make it a little game to see who is accurate and who can draw more accurately. However, we can't do that. So let's just go straight on to how we draw an angle. The first step is always just the same thing. Start at the middle of your page and draw a line with a straight edge, which goes about goes out to your right or your left, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed. Make sure you leave enough room up top so you can put your angle in place. Once you have this line in place, now what you do is you place your protractor on, and it's very important that this here go right on the end of the line that you drew. Okay. Now, depending on what type of a triangle you're going to make, if it's obtuse or whatever, you can take and measure from the zero and go this way, or you could measure from the zero and go this way. So if I'm measuring, oops, sorry, I'm supposed to do this, it's not working. There it is, oops, sorry, there we go. This, is, this could go over, you see I'm starting at 10, 20, 30, you know, et cetera. I could measure this way, right? Um, or if I wished, I could take and do the same thing over here, and I could count up this way. Right? But either way, it's important that you start at the zero, both places. We always measure from the zero and count up. Okay, so now that you have your protractor on, and it's lined up perfectly, now you have to mark what you're going to, what uh, angle you're going to draw. Now, in this case, I chose to draw an angle which is 60 degrees. So I take and start at my zero, and I go up until I get to 60. And then I'm going to slide out, and what I have to do is take my pen and very, or pencil and very carefully make a mark right there exactly on the 60. Once that's done, remove your protractor, and you'll have a mark up here, and that's where my mark would have been, and you take and from the bottom of this part here, which is the end of the line, you go from here straight up through the mark you made here. Now, if you're accurate, this angle in here will be 60 degrees. So measure it and find out. You can, you can, only, be, you can only be out by half, sorry, by one degree, so this is 60 59 to 61, you're good. If it's outside that, you've got to erase your line and do it again. Okay, so let's practice some acute angles. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a 76 degree angle right here, okay? And notice I've got my line in place, and I'm going to grab my protractor, and I'm going to move my protractor into place right here. Now I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. It makes it a little bit easier to see. And you can see that I'm right on the end of that line right there. See that? All right, perfect. Okay, I want to be, have that line, if I can make it, have this line go straight through everything. Now I need 76 degrees, so if you take a look here, I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and I need 76, so I'm going to grab my marker up here, and I'm going to find 76. Well, there's 70, there's 75 right there, so the next line over would be 76 right there. So I'm going to come out a little bit, because this is not quite as nice as yours. I, how far out do I got to go? It, <laughs> I got to come out quite a bit, actually. All right, I can't even put a dot. Oh, there's the dots. Right. So anyway, I'm going to take and draw this in place, and I'm going to go right through 76 degrees. Now, you can't do this, but I have a problem. I can't make an accurate mark because of the way the program works here, okay? So what would normally happen is my mark would be right here, and you would take and go right up through that there dot, which you've already created. And, of course, that means that this angle in here would be 76. All right, so pause the recording, and I want you to draw a 38-degree angle here. Okay, so first thing off, let's grab our protractor. Make sure it's perfectly lined up on the end of that line. All right, grab your pencil, and go out to 38. So here's 0, 10, 20, 30. Going out, here's 35, 36, 37, 38 is right there. I'm going to slide out and see if I can make a dot somewhere. There we go, but as close as I can make it. All right, now take your protractor out of the way. Grab your straight edge, and you can use the straight edge of your protractor. Go to the end of this line, and go straight out through that dot. And if you do it correctly, this inside here will be 39 degree, 38 degrees. Okay, so then measure it and make sure. All right, now let's do an obtuse angle. Now, obtuse angles are 111 degrees. That means they have to be greater than 90. So the first thing we do, always, we're going to draw 108, 100, uh, an obtuse angle, or we're going to start with our line. Okay, so here's my line. I'm going to grab my protractor, same thing as before, line it up perfectly. All right, try to, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to measure off 111 degrees. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. 
and then grab my 111 degrees. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Now I need 111, which means I've got to be right here. Now I don't need, the program won't let me put a dot there. So I'm going to go out and see if I can make it work. There we go. Not quite perfect, but I think I can move it in. Actually, I know how I can do this. Just give me a second. I'll make a dot, and then I'll grab that dot, and I'll move it into place. So that will, that will work, hopefully. Okay, so I need 70, 111 degrees. So there's 110. Here's 110 right there. So 111 is going to be right there where that is. All right, so move your protractor out of the way. Take your ruler or the bottom of your protractor right here. Set it up from the end of that and go straight out through that line. If you did it correctly, this will be 111 degrees. Okay, so pause the recording. I want you to do 148 degrees. All right, well, the first thing I need is a straight line. There we go. Actually, thicker than normal, but we'll work with it. Grab your protractor, put it on the end of the line. I'm going to try to make mine perfect there, so I'll make this a bit bigger. I need to get to 140 degrees, so 148, so I'm going to grab this dot like I did before. And then I have to go to 148, so there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 140. Slide out, there's 145 right there. 146, 147, so I'm going to be two dots back in, so that is 148 right there. All right, so grab your protractor, remove it, and put a line from this end right here straight up and go through that perfectly, and you've did it right. Then you should have 148 degrees right here. Okay, so we've done acute, we've done obtuse. Let's take a look at reflex angles. Now we've done reflex angle measurements before and, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. What you need to do is to make sure that you work with a full circle and remember always that every angle you draw has two angles. It has the, the reflex angle and the angle, the obtuse or the acute angle that you drew. Now the instructions here is to draw, or draw a 207 degree angle. Now my protractor, as you know, it only goes up to 180. So I can't really go past this and just make a judgment call. So I have to find a way around the fact that I don't have a full circle protractor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that 207 and the um, acute angle, or sorry, the, the other angle, have to add up to be 360 degrees, a full circle. So what I'm going to do is I know I have to have a 207 degree angle. I'm going to take 360. I'm going to subtract 207 from it. And that means that I've got to draw an angle, which is 153 degrees. Okay, so what I would do is I would set up my angle here normally, and this time I chose to draw it on the bottom, but I drew from, drew from here all the way around, and this angle here is 153. Now, because 153 and this angle have to add to 180, that's why I did the subtraction. Sorry, have to add to 360. That's why I did the subtraction. Because 360 take away 153, a full circle, take away the 153 equals 207, I know that this has to be... 207. Really bad drawing. Okay, so let's try one. All right, so this is just the same thing as I just did, so move on past that. Here we go. I want to draw an acute angle, or sorry, draw a reflex angle is 299 degrees. So the first thing I've got to do is to find out what is the angle that I'm going to draw. Well, 299 degrees, what I'm going to do is take 360 and I'll subtract 299 from it. And I can use my calculator, but 299 take away. Uh, sorry, 360 take away 299 means I have to draw an angle which is 61 degrees. So I grab my protractor and I'm just going to draw a 61 degree angle. All right, I can make this a little bit bigger, I guess. All right, so here is set it up perfectly on the end of the line like we did before. Okay, I need to find uh, the mark. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to move this over. So I've got to make a 61 degree angle. So here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Slide out, and that mark's got to be right on the one degree past the uh, the 120 there. So yeah, so you see, that. move it over. There's where it is. Okay. Now once that's done, you can remove your protractor, and then again grab your straight edge or the edge of your protractor, and you're going to draw right out through that line. Now, because this line in here, or sorry, this angle in here is 61, I know that the outside angle has got to be 299, because the two of them together have to make 360 degrees. Okay, so turn the page. Oh, that's, it. that's it, I guess. All right, so um, if you have any trouble, watch the video again, and if, uh, if uh, you know what you're doing, great. If not, you can come in and see me if you are still, uh, still don't understand. 
In the meantime, start your assignment, and we'll see you in the next lesson.